Dwayne Wade's ex-wife is fighting a legal petition to allow their daughter to change her gender and name, claiming the child is being pressured financially to make this monumental decision. She's in for the gender change. She's in for the name change. She's, she's all in. The only issue she has is she's 15 years old and must get a court order and permission from her parents to make the change. Now, the mom, being a mom and wanting to make sure her child's in the, the best place to make such a decision and isn't rushing to make one, wants her to wait till she's 18. She's only a few weeks, a few years away from making that decision. You don't want to make a permanent decision as a child. That's the mom's thinking. Who doesn't get it? Any parent would. Concern for your child. You want them to make the best decisions. You don't want them to make life-altering ones so early that they can't come back from. But where she loses me is the part where Dwayne Wade is, quote-unquote, pressuring his child to go through with this for the massive endorsement deal she will get. Apparently, it's a deal with Disney on the table, and it's a good business decision if she decides to change her gender. And that's where the mom loses me. Her concern is fine, but millions of dollars is better. Does she not understand what's happening here? Because I think she's lost the plot. We are in a situation where we should be creating more black wealth in this country. Historically, white people had all the wealth. And now we're in an era where more and more black people are getting wealth. Not just rich, getting wealth, passing money down. And isn't that not what Dwayne Wade's doing? Now, now, one would say, what about the trauma the kid will go through if they happen to want to go back to who they were? Well, according to all the scientists out there, there is no risk of that. You can just go back at any time. So I don't see why this mom is concerned. She can just simply go back if it doesn't work at 18. But she'll also have millions of dollars. You got to get the money while you can get it. Does the mom not trust her child to make these kind of decisions? Because the government now does. Or at least people in the government feel children should make these decisions. Dwayne Wade, to me, kind of needs the money. He's hosting game shows now. He's no Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey's a great game show host. One of the all-time greats, in my opinion. Dwayne Wade's not even top 50. He's terrible at it. So, you know, is it wrong to want to make money off your children? No! All the greats do it. Michael Jackson's parents did it. They abused the shit out of him. His dad, specifically, beat the living shit out of him. Like, there are stories where he took it to fucking town, but king of pop. So, trade-offs. Sometimes trauma works out. Look at some of the kids who were child stars. Some of them made it. Not all of them. Sometimes it's about the amount of trauma, I think. Is there an amount of trauma you can cause a child to make them great? That's what we're still trying to figure out. Now, I want to make it also clear. I don't think you just go willy-nilly traumatizing your child, hoping they become great. Not all children are that talented. If children are now looked at to be able to make these decisions early in life, these adult decisions, then maybe childhood's over. Maybe it's time to send them back to work. The Chinese do it. They send them to work early. Those kids in those factories, let me tell you right now, you may think they're suffering, but, well, listen, everyone suffers at work, but what they're learning is a skill and discipline and they will use those things for the rest of their life now their life might be short due to the working conditions but they will be using those skills for the rest of their life bobby you you are an intern at wrkm you've been an intern here since you were 15 now you've graduated high school you're going to college would you not say you benefited from working as a child and don't say no i will put your head through a wall dude don't you say no Say yes. You can't see, but Bobby's nodding his head yes, because he knows I'm right. I'm looking at this story, and it just seems like she just wants to get illegally changed on paper. Like, it's not even like, she's not even going for the full Monty. 
oh, well, that just changes everything then. Fuck this, mom. Listen, um, yeah, this kind of changes a lot for me. Zara, listen to me. I want you to listen to me right now. I know you don't watch this show. Hopefully you'll find this clip. Look at me. Look into my eyes. All right. I'm the only friend you have here. Okay. Because I'm trying to get you the money. Okay. Everyone else is trying to get the money from you. I'm not asking for anything. I'm trying to get you the money. Here's what you're going to do. It's going to be tough. This is going to be tough for you to do. But you're going to have to sit your mom down and look her dead in the eyes and say, bitch, sign this paper so I can make this paper. I am a black woman in America and I ain't taking shit from nobody. And you shouldn't have to take shit from people, Zara. You're being who you want to be. And if what makes you feel good is having a paper that says it so you can make millions and millions of dollars and spread black equity all across the globe, then let me tell you, your mom needs to get with it. And hopefully you'll remember that this one in darkness stood by you and you will kick a few million back to us because we could certainly use it. And we are allies on this podcast.